Hello. At this time of year, we all like our garden furniture to look its best. So in this video, I'll show you how to clean your teak garden furniture. Ah, here we have a lovely London bench, around about 10, 15 years old. I would say it hasn't been cleaned for two or three years. You can tell by the way the dirt has actually baked hard onto the timbers. This is exactly what the teak cleaner will remove. On the front of this rail, you'll notice it's very rough. And on the back is smooth, which is classic jet wash damage. What it's done, it's just dug out the grain of the timber, leaving this rough surface. It can also drive out the natural oils in the timbers, which you don't want to do. So today, instead of using that jet wash, we use some teak cleaner, sponge, a brush, hose pipe, some protective equipment and elbow grease. Only a little bit though. First of all, we're going to use a stiff brush to remove any moss, lichen or loose dirt. This red you can see on the front rail, I'd imagine that's been caused by someone washing a terracotta patio and the dust splashing up. Nothing to worry about. We soon get rid of that with a teak cleaner. Before we apply the teak cleaner, we need to soak the bench. Now we're going to apply the teak cleaner, just using a sponge, but before we do, make sure we have rubber gloves and the safety glasses. Okay, that's all the teak cleaner applied. We need to leave it four or five minutes before we can start scrubbing. We've left the teak cleaner long enough now to do its work. We use the green scouring pad to remove the dirt. All we do now is rinse it off, leave it to dry, and see the results. Okay, that's all rinsed off. We leave it to dry now. And while we're doing that, we put the kettle on. It's clean. We've worked hard at it, and now we see the results. All the dirt's been removed, mostly it's my trousers, but then again, I never did say it would be a clean job. The teak oil, because that's the question people always ask me next. It's clean, it looks fantastic. Do I apply teak oil to it? No, why would you want to? It's got its own natural oil inside. It's looking after itself. We've done our work, let the bench do its. The only time I would suggest you use tea coal is if it's inside, in the conservatory, orange tree, it's taken in no moisture, it needs to be fed. But outside, in the garden, leave it alone. Just sit there and enjoy your garden furniture. Mm -hmm. 